Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video for you guys on how I maintain my straight hair for a month. I've been seeing that I've been getting a lot of questions on that so I figured I'd just go ahead and film a video because you know they're pretty easy, easy. girl. They're pretty easy tips. Um, I do them all the time, they always work for me and you know I don't like to be super long-winded, you know, more so than the norm. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, so um, basically I think we're on probably day 27, 28-ish, but we're just gonna go ahead and say it's been a month, all right, um, of my hair being straight. And when I say straight, I obviously don't mean pin straight, I mean flat ironed and it is not my natural curl pattern. So I've had heat applied to my hair in order to get it like this, otherwise it would be curlier okay just so because I don't want anyone to be like your hair has curls on it like I know I put them in there okay all right so anyways the first thing I'm gonna kind of give you a, a rundown of what I do and then also like the tips in order to maintain my straight hair so obviously the first thing that I do that's essential to maintain straight hair is you always need to start with a good blow dry. I am still looking for that lost footage to show you guys my entire routine of how I flat iron my hair. But um, to me, what I, you know, what causes me to be able to maintain my straight hair for so long, I just realized my heating cap was in frame. Excuse me, rude. Um, what allows me to be able to keep my hair straightened for so long is because I make sure to blow dry my hair really well. I don't like air drying and then flat iron my hair. I can step outside and my hair will just look so that's just that's the first thing I do also I only flat iron my hair in the cooler months right now it's still flat iron because I flat ironed it in what late March yes I flat ironed it at the end of March probably like it was a few days after my birthday my birthday was on the 21st of March so I'm gonna say I think it was like maybe like the 25th of March that I flat ironed it and you know it was cooler then but Obviously it's warmer now and it still held up pretty well, but I'm not about to waste my time in June to flat iron my hair. It's too much humidity. I live in Georgia. It was a waste of my time. I'm not going to do that. So second tip would just be don't set yourself up for failure. And also I use a really good oil when I flat iron my hair and I only use silicone oil and it is the Chi Deep Brilliant Silk, Re Silk Reflect Oil or I've been using this one lately because I couldn't find the Chi Deep Brilliance, but I found it again. So I'll link it below for you guys. But this is the Chi Shine Infusion Hair Shine Spray. It is also a heat protectant. So I use this right before I blow dry and right before I flat iron as well. Now let's just go ahead and get into like the little tips that I use to actually maintain it after I've gotten it straightened. So there's two or three essential things that I feel like really help with keeping my hair looking relatively decent and then one is kind of optional and the first is you guessed it this heating cap now mind you I've had this heating cap for like 15 or 20 years it was my mom's and she gave it to me or I stole it whatever we don't need to get down to the specifics of it all but this was a golden hot once upon a time it said golden hot on it heating cap and I will link the heating cap below that I found on Amazon that seems to be most similar with the best reviews so I'll link that down below but the reason that you need a heating cap is because once your hair is starting to basically succumb to the elements and get a little frizzy, what I like to do is apply either this right here or the Chi um, Silk Reflect Oil, which is the one that comes in the orange bottle. I like to apply that to my frizzy hair. I will then rewrap it. Like if my hair is actually completely straight, I'll then rewrap it and then I will sit up under a heating cap for about 10 to 15 minutes. And what that does is the heat then like reactivates the silk oils and it re-smooths my hair back out and because it's a silk oil that's designed to be used like for flat ironing and things like that it doesn't weigh my hair down like initially when I put it on there my hair will be like oops, tragic but once I wrap it like I said put this on there go to sleep wake up the next day I have a nice flip if you hear something dash is sneezing like somewhere downstairs um I still have a nice little like flow to my hair after I do that it won't be as beautiful day one hair but it'll still look like oh, okay she just got a, a silk press like she can get a silk press she got a press press like hair is still looking cute and then I'll keep my hair straight like pin straight for about a week maybe a week and a half sometimes two depending on my mood then what I will do 
is I'll go in with my flat iron and I'll take like you know a smaller like one inch flat iron and I'll um, put it to about 270 300 at the absolute most because I'm really just trying to give my hair some curl and wave I'm not trying to give my hair like super tight curls and then I'll go in and apply some curls to it and if you want to see exactly how I do that I actually have a video filmed on it already so I will link that below as well but I'll go ahead and apply some curls and how I maintain those is literally so easy I twist it up in a bun and I put on a bun it a bonnet a bonnet and that's it I'm pretty sure I explain all of that in the video where I show you how I curl my hair but yeah I'll link that below like I said but if not I'm telling you what I do now and same thing I will if it's getting frizzy I'll apply some she um silk reflect oil to it put it up in a bun sit right back up under that heating cap for another 15 minutes and when I take my hair down the next day you guys it looks so good and if you want an example of what I'm talking about I also filmed another video of how to like restyle straight dirty greasy hair without adding any extra heat to it um so I will link that video below as well because I'm able to show you exactly what I'm telling you now so that's the second step and those are pretty much two of the most essential things that you need is a good silk oil and a heating cap if you don't have one I mean, you can get away without it by just applying the silk oil, but I'm telling you guys the heating cap really, it seals in the deal for how luscious, soft, silky your curls look. It just maintains your straight hair so much longer. I mean, look at this. It has been, like I said, pretty much 30 days and my hair, I mean, I'm in Georgia. It's hot. It's like 82 today. I go on two walks a day and like, it's no frizz really. Like I have a little bit of je ne sais quoi a little bit of volume but you wouldn't expect me to be out in the heat of georgia with my hair down and able to still maintain some semblance of what straight hair is allegedly supposed to be um and the next item that ugh, i'm on the fence about this and i've mentioned it a million times but i would say either an edge control or a gel that you guys like and the reason i said i'm on the fence about it is because i'm not totally sold on edge control products like sometimes they work sometimes they don't you guys know i'm not that big on them i don't use them all the time i have one that i have been using i'm gonna um, film a review on it for you guys but um you can also get away with the gel and the reason that i say that is Whenever I'm styling my hair when it's straight like this, I like to do a lot of half up, half down looks and I'll apply a little bit of gel to the perimeter of my hair, slick it back and put like, you know, half up in a ponytail and, you know, then leave like the back down. The dog is barking next door and now Dash is barking. Excuse me. Um, so anyways. Like I said, I like to put half up, half down, leave the back out, yada, 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 whatever. And then after I wear it like that for a day or maybe two or sometimes I'll wear it all the way up in a bun, but I still want my edges slick. In order to remove the gel, you guessed it, I filmed a video on that too, so I'll link it below. But um, I'll remove the gel with the silk oil. And like I said, if you want to safely know how to do that without, you know, snatching all your edges out, I'll link that video below. But then I'll remove the gel and it's like my hair has been molded straight again. Like I haven't re really flat ironed my hair, but if you like look like there's no gel in my hair right now. But if like you can see how straight um, the edges are, I did kind of sweat because I was like running today like a weirdo. But like you can see it's really not that frizzy. And another thing, I don't really have that much against frizz to be honest. Someone's interrupting my filming. It's Dash. He's walking right in front of the camera, but he's too short for you guys to see. Get out of there. Thank you. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You make me anxious when you just walk around. What are you doing? Are you going to come in here, Mommy? Come on. Come on. Bye. Um, where was I? I don't know. I think we were talking about edge control. So yeah. Anyways, um, you know, I just I don't care about my hair being like a, getting a little frizz to it. Um, that's just not a big deal to me as long as my style kind of looks intact a little bit. Like I'm okay with that. Um, 
I would also say another item that you can use, I actually usually use it, but I didn't need to this time, is a dry shampoo. And that makes it so that your hair doesn't get super greasy, but my hair has been super dry. Well, not my hair, my scalp has been super dry. Has not been producing a lot of oils. That's probably because I've been eating horribly. But um, if you do have a very oily scalp and hair that gets oily really quickly, dry shampoo is your best friend. My favorite is Batiste, I love it does the job, we're all happy. And when I do use it, I only spray it in the crown of my head, not the front, because I notice with dry shampoo, if you spray it too close to the perimeter of your hair, it gets like a little like stiff and like stick. You just feel a lot of product in it. Um, so yeah, I think that that's it. Like I said, I wanted to make this video short, sweet, straight to the point, not ramble on too long. But um, yeah, that is it. Like I said, this has been like 20 something day. Now you want to come in here. So rude. So you're so cute. Don't know why you're tired. You haven't done anything all day, but you're still cute. So um, yeah, like I said, um, I think those tips are helpful. Hopefully, they are helpful to you. If you have other tips on how to maintain straight hair, you know, comment down below. Taste Village Fellowship in the comments. You know, I love when y'all do that. I like to jump in pretty much take some of y'all's ideas. I always give credit though. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you the next one. Bye guys. Oh, also I wanted to mention to you guys, side parts. I talk about them all the time. A side part will save your life. You can get away with so many hairstyles if you just part it to the side. It looks like you tried way more. Like if I had the, the way my hair is set up right now after 30 days of being flat ironed and not washed, if I tried to do a center part with this, like, it would be very upsetting. Extremely upsetting. Don't do that. I mean, if you're me, don't do that. If you want to do that, do that. But for me, I can't pull that, okay? So, don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, bye. <laughs>